We've got this next system moving in that's going to give us some rain and that's going to cool us down just a little bit more as we head into the end of the week and also the weekend. But you know, we've been dealing with that rain today. Much needed rain. We picked up over a half inch here in Atlanta. That was with the first wave that moved through. We're in that break right now. That's what allowed us in that window of opportunity to get the Braves game in tonight. Now we've got another little bit of rain in North Georgia that's falling apart. Nothing in Atlanta right now. This in North Georgia falling apart, but the main system that we're watching is still back into Alabama coming out of Tennessee. Look at this very heavy rain thunderstorm activity here in northwest Alabama that is pushing down toward the south and also to the east. Some of that is going to hold together once it makes it through our area overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. However, we expect it to be a little bit weaker as it moves in. You see the yellow out to the west of us. That's where we have a level two of five risk for severe storms, and that's where it is strongest. But our atmosphere here is a little more stable thanks to the showers that came through earlier, kind of worked over the atmosphere somewhat. We still have a level one risk in northwest Georgia, just west of Atlanta and areas down to the south and west of us too. So here's the timeline of what we're watching. You can see those storms coming through Huntsville, through the Alabama area, moving down toward the south, some of that coming into northwest Georgia, but not until around three, four o'clock in the morning here, continuing to push down toward the south, making it into metro Atlanta, most likely five or six o'clock in the morning. By seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock, everything is to the east of us, and then we're going to dry out for the rest of the day. As that line comes in, though, overnight, I want you to be prepared for some scattered showers overnight. Maybe some rumbles of thunder, flashes of lightning, but the severe weather threat is going to be on the lower end. And we wake up in the morning at 63. We get up to 76 in the afternoon. We're going to go with the 7 on the wasometer. Things will be improving during the day. In fact, you can see by lunchtime, a lot of these clouds are going to fall apart. Then we go back to sunshine in the afternoon. And once we have that sunshine, it's going to stick with us uh, for Friday and also into Saturday before a few more clouds mix in on Sunday too. And you can see how the temperatures trend down a little bit. Friday morning, we're down to 49 with a high of 74 and then uh, mostly sunny Saturday uh, highs near 79 will be up to 80 Sunday clouds increasing though on Sunday showers, maybe a couple thunder showers on Monday and then behind this system that brings us the rain on Monday. Look how much colder it's going to get Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday morning, we're talking about waking up to temperatures at 41 here in the city. That means it'll be in the 30s in the outlying areas with highs only in the 60s.